Hi, John Parker from Marine Max Rhode Island. Today we're on the 2019 55 Fly. I'd like to take you through it. We're going to start today on the back deck here. Uh, you have a hydraulic platform which, uh, which does go down into the water. Uh, your climbing access up into the ladder. And then dedicated access to your crew stateroom. It also has some nice LED lighting that really lights up the back deck. Come on, we'll be back to the back uh, cockpit area. Plasma has created a, a very nice livable back deck area, nice big stanchions to elongate the uh, flybridge area. We also have C-shaped seating, which sits around six to eight people. Synthetic marble insert table. Stainless steel cleats and castings. And the beautiful raw teeth throughout the boat. Uh, you also have the uh, the cabin area which uh, facilitates a beautiful galley which can accommodate people sitting outside and eating as well as inside. Uh, the doors do open up dramatically for a big open air feeling. Uh, this window does drop down uh, again for that open air feeling. Coming on inside. So as you can see, Asma has uh, a lot of soft edges, rounded feelings. There's not a lot of sharp angles on this boat at all. And it's all dressed up with satin gold brass throughout. Um, this is the galley. You have a full fridge, freezer, stovetop, microwave, convectional oven, some storage, uh, dual sinks, storage underneath here, and underneath this over here. Uh, the other thing that Asma really did uh, differently was... Um, electrical panel hidden back here underneath the uh, the countertop. Very accessible. You're not kneeling down trying to find switches on and off there. You also have ice maker underneath here in your media center located here. Okay, following back up into the main salon. Azmet has created a very open design here as well. A raised sofa. That's six, about six to eight people here. Another two to three here. A uh, table that opens up on the port side. A very large table so you can faci facilitate a bunch of people eating dinner or snacking. Also the TV that drops down below. Very comfortable with both surround sound. And moving up into the lower helm, you have uh, captain and co-pilot seats. You have your throttle control, your joystick control, your bow and stern thrusters, uh, seat keeper, zip wake, uh, rudder control, autopilot, uh, chart plotter, radar, everything is at your fingertips. And you also have a great drop down window to get some uh, breeze com coming through your hair. Come with me down to the cabins. First, we'll start on the master suite, which is a full beam stateroom. We have a nice large queen size bed, uh, natural light on both port and starboard side. You have some storage in here. You have a closet to the aft. And you have a hidden uh, TV screen in the mirror. It's one of the staple things that Asmus like to do. You also have some storage facility to the left of the TV. You also have in the master head, separate shower sink and commode. Moving up into the VIP stateroom. Another queen size bed for the VIP. Again, more natural light. Some great soft lighting throughout. Closets, port and starboard. You have another TV here on the wall and then uh, associated with the VIP is also the day head on the port side. 
separate shower stall as well. And then lastly for the cabins, you have your uh, port and starboard uh, beds. And a nice big closet. And let's go up to the uh, bow. Okay, welcome to the bow. This is a beautiful area Asma has designed for a nice forward lounging area. Uh, all these cushions are on hydraulic pistons and you can be set them down or all the way up. Very, very comfortable. You also have a canopy that opens up, comes up to about uh, at least half your body when you're laying on the, sh on the shades. Um, beautiful, beautiful area. You also have access to the forward VIP here. Obviously your anchor controls for your anchor and anchor locker, uh, some built-in cup holders, and then also some dedicated storage port and starboard for the covers and, and uh, fenders and su such. And now let's go up to the flybridge. Okay, follow me up to the flybridge. Now you're gonna come up these uh, beautiful teak inlaid steps. Plenty of handrails. And flybridge on the 55 fly is uh, is very well done. You have a nice large sun pad area forward next to your upper helm, which mimics all the controls down below. Very good visibility throughout. Uh, you have a grill, sink, fridge underneath, and uh, closing capability. You also have the synthetic marble insert table shaped seating as well as the two sofas in the back very plush very soft and last but not least you have the sunroof the t-top that opens it's manual so you can close that very easily if it does start to rain or you're getting too much sun and that's it for the 55 fly if you have any questions or you'd like to schedule a showing, please give me a call. My number, I'm always available. My door is always open. Thank you.